You've now submitted your annual tax return for an individual and you want to know what happens next. Were you selected for audit? Audit. Weren't you selected for audit? If you were selected for audit, what do you need to do? What documents you, you need to submit? So we're going to go through all those today in the video. Also just note, I've put a link in the description for below for another video which will show you exactly how to see if you've got a SARS refund or whether you owe SARS. So just click on that link below if you want to check that out. So for this video, you're going to log into your e-filing profile and this is your landing page. And then let's say you filed your 2022 tax return. You'll see it there and you'll click on filed through e-filing. So that'll bring you to this page. And now your first question is going to be, were you selected for audit or not? So a couple of ways to do this. The first way, we're going to go click on the RTA 34, which is your tax assessment. It's going to come up in a new tab. This is your full tax assessment, but you'll see here where the arrow is selected for audit or verification. N is obviously no, Y is obviously yes. So you're going to just double check that the assessment is right to make sure you were selected for audit or not. So where the one error is, it says documents for review, and this means that SARS needs you to upload documents for, for their verification or their audit purposes. And even if your RTA 34 says no, I would also just double check here within a day or so just to make sure that this link hasn't opened for documents for review. If it has opened, then obviously you need to submit the documents. Make sure you submit on time and the correct documents, which you're going to get to. And another way, if you are selected for audit, SARS should also send you some correspondence via e-filing on your e-filing portal to say you've been selected for audit. So now let's say that you have been selected for audit and you need to know what to do next. You also need to know which documents you submit because it's very important to submit the correct documents and like I said, on time. So we're now going to look at which documents you need to submit to SARS in order to get the audit finalized so this is again your ita 34 your tax assessment and you're going to use this as a way to see which documents you need to submit to sars if you're also unsure you can always phone sars and they can tell you exactly which documents you should be submitting also sars like i said should issue correspondence if you've been selected for audit although often those letters are generic letters they don't give you specifically for your situation they just give you a list of possible documents you need to submit. So you need to make sure that you're looking at exactly what you've submitted in your tax return so you can verify that and then SARS can be happy with that. So you're going to go through your, your tax assessment. You're going to see what is relevant for your tax return. All the other option is go to your RTR 12, which is back to the last page and I'll show you on the next slide. Click on your RTR 12, just go through it to see, okay, I've got an RP5, I'm going to submit my RP5. I've got a travel claim, I'm going to submit a logbook. I've got a retirement annuity, I'm going to submit a certificate to verify the retirement annuity. I've got a medical aid, I'm going to submit that document. So, like I said, it's always dependent on your circumstances, what is in your tax return, but just go through it very carefully. Make sure you're submitting all required documents. You don't want SARS to disallow say retirement annuity deduction because you didn't submit the certificate so just make sure you get everything right and then we're going to show you how to submit it um, so just quickly like i said if you another way to check which documents you need to submit my tax return rtr 12 just above left above the arrow there you can also click there to see what you submitted on your return to see which documents you need to submit so like i said it's always individual circumstances Make sure you're looking at what you submitted so you can submit the correct documents to verify your claims. Okay, so now let's say you've worked out you need to submit a medical aid and an RA certificate because those are what's relevant for you. You're going to click on the documents for review. Obviously, mine said submitted because it's submitted already, but yours should say uh, upload docs or something like that. So you can click on documents for you or upload docs, whatever that little thing on the left there says. It's going to come to this page. So arrow number one, you're going to choose a file. You're going to click on upload on the right. So and then come down to this uploaded document section below there. Make sure it's got a green tick. If it's a red tick, it obviously hasn't worked. And now let's say you've got your RA that's relevant, your medical aid certificate, you're happy. It's all you need to submit. Down to arrow number two, submit to SARS. And like I said, just be very careful. You got everything. Because if you get the wrong documents or leave something out, it's very difficult to sort it out. So I'd rather take your time and get this part of it right. Okay, so now 
We said yeah, it says submitted. You know, you submit your documents to SARS. Make sure it does say submitted. You haven't just uploaded and not submitted. So to make sure that that does say submitted next to documents for review. And essentially now SARS are looking at your documents and they usually give themselves a month, 21 working days to look at your documents to verify it. And then you should then get hopefully get a letter saying it's finalized. That's what we're going to look at now. So you see the same page here, number of letters to, you're going to click on that number of letters link. It's going to bring you to this page. So this is essentially should be all your correspondence from SARS over the years, you know, going back however many years. So you're going to look for, first of all, completion letter, hopefully. Otherwise, it might say request for further documents or something like that. And then second arrow, 2021, which is for this video. But if it's 2022 submitted, make sure you're looking at the correct year. So 2022 completion letter. That's exactly what you're wanting. And then view. Um, just to make sure that it is actually they're saying everything is fine. So you got to make sure you click on view to make sure. Double check that. A new tab will open and this will say verification assessment and then just obviously read through it carefully. Make sure it doesn't, it's not requesting further documents. But this one says, please note that no adjustment has been made to this assessment. In other words, they're happy with what you submitted and your return should be finalized. So if that's the case. You've got a completion letter. After submitting audit documents, and then your return should be finalized. And if you had a refund owing, it should then be processed and paid out to you in due course. So if you liked this video, pop a like below, share it with your friends.